All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. Docking clamps released. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Hendar. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I, uh... You don't look so good. I have to get to sickbay. Go. Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenures on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on her, but she'll live. Just needs rest. You should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare, I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Deridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. It does make me unique, but it's not a burden at all. I'm honored to be Kobliad, to represent my people. As you should be. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. 
My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. Breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. The more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. I think after what happened, Captain Solano's learned his lesson. And whatever ambition he once had is on hold for a while. He may say that, but we'll see what happens. And I have to give you credit for what happened on the bridge. It took guts to defy a direct order. Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do feel it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Then, my work here is done. Lieutenant Bedrosian. I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. It's just part of who I am. You don't have to explain to me. I understand. I'm just glad you're okay. You trusted me earlier with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Thank you. Complete the diagnostic sequence, and this shuttle will be cleared for service. Yes, sir. The storm in the Hotari region will interfere with our transporters, so we need all available shuttlecraft in working order. Excuse me, Commander Turlock. Petty Officer Maris. I will leave you to your work. I stopped by sick bay and saw Millie. I figured you'd want to know. Did the doc get her fixed up? She's stable. But there's something about the storm's radiation that's making it hard to heal the energy burns. That doesn't sound good. She's toughing it out. Dr. Duval said she'll be back on duty soon, though. Come on. I have to run the final diagnostic. I can't stay long. I've got a long to-do list before we get to Hotari, and things are piling on faster than I can check them off. We're making all our last-minute checks in security, too. Now we'll just have to take things as they come. Control what we can, and roll with the punches. Next thing you're gonna tell me you're listening to Andorian jazz. No. The point is, the right time might never come. So, I'm just going to roll with it. I had a chance to think about this while I was away. Then, you and Millie almost got killed out on the hall. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse. This is just a guess, but you like me. Is that what this is? How'd you know? It must have been pretty obvious. Which is funny, because... It kinda came out of nowhere for me, at first. Well, you know... I was hoping. I guess that makes this a little easier to say. We've been really good friends for a long time. I wanna see if there's more between us... than just being friends.
you don't have to explain it. I feel the same way. There is something between us. So, do you want to find out what that something is? If it's there for you, and it's there for me, why not give it a try? I have feelings for you. But I just don't want to ruin the way things are. You're one of my best friends, and you mean so much to me, and I don't want to risk losing that. I really don't. I understand. I just don't want this to be weird now. <sighs> Nilly saw it coming. She said it might make things uncomfortable if I said something. And that's the last thing I want. You're important to me, if that wasn't obvious. Hey, it's not gonna be weird. It's fine. I mean, if you're not a little weird, you're boring. <laughs> well, that's definitely true. Level one diagnostic complete. I don't suppose we can forget this conversation happened. Just don't make too many jokes about it, okay?